This conference will now be recorded. In previous session, we have seen how we can consume one web service class and how we can invoke it. And in the previous example, we are able to create lead from my client application to server application by invoking SOAP call. So now to make the SOAP call, what we did, we create a method in my server using my keyword web service. So web service is a keyword which made my APIs class as a web service class. From that class, I generate WSTL. Then I share that WSTL with client. Then client was able to invoke through that gener generated APIs class from WSTL. So whenever I'm going to make any method or variable with web service keyword, what type of consideration we have to take? What kind of thing we should consider? Okay, so now, when you define a class, so in the class, you are going to have a method. That method, you are going to write a web service method. So we will use the web service keyword only to define top level method and outer class method. So what does it mean? Let me show you it also. So if I go to my developer console, you can log in to my server application or to my client or, or server or anywhere just to see what are this means? So can I use web service wherever I want? So if now I want to create access class, let's see. I just give the name as my class, for example. Okay. I click on okay. So now if I have a method here, I have another class here. Let's see inner class, public class, inner class. Inside this class, I am going to write one web service method web service static and uh, my ws method for example okay uh, let's it's going to return nothing if i try to save what is going to happen see i tried to save now defining type of web service method must declare global that you understood one thing So uh, whenever you write any web service method, your class should be defined as global. Let me save it again. You can see what kind of consideration we have taken. Unexpected token, sorry, it's my type of mistake. Let me save it. See, uh, everything what I'm listing out here that I'll, I'll tell here. Okay, so web service method class should be global. You saw when I write any class with method mark with keyword static, it said the class should be global and static only can be used on method of a top level type so here see this static i cannot use here so that means i cannot make any web service club method inside a inner class so we can use web service keyword to define top level method and outer class method not in inner class method so if you make an inner class method it will fail but if i want i can make my web service method in my outer method in my outer class see now i am able to save successfully okay so we can use web service keyword to define top level method and outer class method we cannot use web service keyword to define a class or an inner class methods so if i want to define a class as web service i cannot use web service keyword in the class so only web service keyword allowed to be used in your method or your variable so if you can see web service is not allowed on classes okay simply you have to remove it so next if you see here we cannot define an interface or interface method and variable whenever you want you cannot define so you can use web service keyword only for the classes and not for any interface or any interface method or any variable in the interface if you have anything in that place you cannot use web service and if any if, if you use a web service method okay, inside this method you cannot refer any system defined enum you cannot refer for example if you say and there is a enum called enum in the json so if that's there you cannot refer any enum inside your web service methods okay so now 
uh, you can see here system defined enums cannot be used in web service method and if you are writing a trigger so if you want okay in the trigger i want to use a web service keyword let's say in trigger you have a variable or you have a um, variable where you want to put web service keyword you cannot make that so trigger will not allow to use any web service keyword in it okay and whenever you create a web service method it which i explained before that method must be a static method and we if if you are developing any managed package and your package uh, uh, like some some clients have uh, installing your package and sometimes we may develop some functionality and that functionality we can deprecate after some time but if in your class if that class is a part of managed package and in your class you have any web service method or variable then that you cannot deprecate from your managed package okay and when you develop for any web service method we usually pass some parameter here and also we can return some some kind of data nothing but what kind of parameters we should not use or what kind of return type we should not use whenever we are using a web service method so uh, there is the return type you cannot use return type or as a parameter map map is not supported you cannot use set you cannot use some specific object like pattern object matter object and exception object these things you are not allowed to use for example see this is one of my web service method which i have written here let me save it and now see successfully i am able to save it for example i want to write a map here let's map string string as a parameter my map let me save it okay so now what's going to happen if i if i try to use map see web service method do not support parameter type of map same way if you go to set of string okay so now if i try to save what happens so there are specific type of parameters uh, which are not supported in your uh, web services see web service, web service method do not support parameter type of set so you have to uh, you have to consider these points whenever you are writing any, any web service methods so this for these parameters map set pattern object matter object access object you should not put as a parameter or you should not return it also so these are the basic points you remember and next we'll see more interesting facts about my web services thank you stay tuned for next session